Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, I will give you the buyer's guide for the 2023 Cervelo Soloist road bike. So you see, it's an interesting bike uh, from Cervelo. And why do I say this? So this Cervelo Soloist bike, as Cervelo explains, is a do-it-all road bike, which is also aerodynamically optimized. So when you look at the carbon frame and the fork and the seat post, you see that everything is nicely aerodynamically optimized and also to reduce the drag. But when you look at the lineup of Cervelo bikes, so first of all, you have the S5 bike, which is their all in aerodynamically optimized bike, you know, to go as fast as possible in a straight line. And then you also have an R5 model, which is their all in lightweight climbing bike. And then you have this Cervelo Soloist bike, which would basically sit between the R5 bike, so the fully climbing machine, and between the S5 bike, which is a fully aerodynamically optimized bike. So that's why, that's why the Cervelo is saying that this uh, Soloist is a do-it-all road bike with kind of heavily, heavily aerodynamically optimized uh, uh, frame and the fork. So it's an interesting combination from Cervelo. And what's also interesting is uh, one of my colleagues uh, who has a Cervelo Soloist has confirmed that this is a very amazing bike considering how smooth it is. It's almost like an endurance road bike, but again, a bit more aerodynamically optimized. So, okay, so now <clears throat> we can dive into the specifications of this bike and really see what do you get for your hard earned money. Of course, there are many uh, build specifications of this bike and specifically in this episode, I wanna focus on the Cervelo Soloist with the Shimano 105 Di2 electronic group set. I kind of believe this is a nice sweet spot of the range and it's good to see what you can get for the retail price of 5,000 British pounds or probably with the current exchange rate we are probably speaking something about US prices of around 5,500 to 6,000 US dollars. So definitely not a cheap bike, it is on the pricier range of the bikes but as I say when we dive into the specifications you really see uh, what do you get. Also, I'll mention here, if you just want to buy the frame set of this bike, you can do it. It is, in my opinion, uh, eye-watering 3,000 British pounds for just the frame set uh, on this uh, bike. Okay, so as I was saying, in this episode, we will focus on the Cervelo Soloist uh, road bike in the Shimano 105 Di2 uh, build. So first thing first, um, let's have a look at the paint schemes you have on offer here. It seems to me that you can choose between two paint schemes on this uh, bike. I believe that should be the case. So one of them should be this beautiful, in my opinion, like a metallic golden with a hint of black, super classy paint scheme. I would definitely go with this one. And then you have another one, which is just kind of a black and white paint scheme. Again, pretty classical. So at least it seems to me here that you can choose between these two paint schemes on the bike. Now when we talk about the frame and the fork on this bike, so what are you getting? So when it comes to the frame on this bike, it is a carbon fiber frame from Cervelo, also the fork, carbon fiber fork, uh, 12 millimeter through axles both front and the back, internal cable routing, as I said, the frame and the fork are aerodynamically optimized to reduce the drag, and also the bottom bracket on this bike, which is interesting, is a threaded T47 the bottom bracket, Excellent stuff in my opinion. It's gonna be easy to service. Your local mechanics will definitely love you. So all in, there's absolutely no complaints here uh, from me about their carbon fiber frame and the fork. And also keep in mind that you have a lifetime warranty from Cervelo when it comes to their uh, carbon fiber frames. Okay, now we can have a, a little look about the wheel set on this bike. So what do you get? So you are getting a Fulcrum Racing 600 wheel set. So this uh, Racing 600 wheel set is the same stuff as Fulcrum Racing 6 DB wheel set. Uh, 600 is just the series for the OEM production. So when you look at the specification of this wheel set, so this is a classical Fulcrum aluminum wheel set, which is a tubeless ready wheel set. You can turn it into a tubeless wheel set. Total weight is 1,780 grams for this wheel set. 
24 millimeters is the rim height and internal width of the rim is 20 millimeters. Of course, this wheel set is specifically for the, uh, this brakes only. 24 aluminum spokes uh, front and the back and the hubs on this wheel set are from uh, Fulcrum. They're aluminum seal cartridge uh, bearing hubs. So all in, as I said, a classical aluminum wheel set from Fulcrum. I'm expecting it to be, you know, decent. And of course, I wish that on these uh, price levels there, they could have probably included the carbon fiber wheel set on this bike, but okay, it is what it is. It's an aluminum wheel set. And once when you destroy it, you can always, you know, have a look uh, some offerings from DT Swiss, for example, wheels, if you want aluminum or carbon or some other manufacturers. This wheel set is wrapped in the Vittoria Rubinho Pro tire, so 28 millimeter tire, or as I'm seeing here, there's an option of the Corsa Next tire, again in 28 millimeters edition. Okay, whichever tire you are getting, it's perfectly fine. 28 millimeter tire is superb just because of a lot of air volume and definitely your bike ride is going to be much, much smoother. Even in the future, I would definitely advise you to keep the 28 millimeter tires on this uh, bike. Now let's look at the total group set on this bike and what do you really get? Okay, we can kick off with the crank set on this bike because I think this is a bit of a weak point. So here, uh, Cervelo is using a Shimano's RS520 crank set, which is 5034 chain rings. The thing that bothers me here is that this bike has a retail price of 5,000 British pounds and you are getting an RS520 crank set. So in my opinion, it should have at least been a Shimano 105 level crank set and I have no clue why they cut corners here on this RS520 crank set. Also, this uh, crankset is paired, as I said, with the T47 threaded bottom bracket, perfectly fine. The chain is the Shimano M7100 12-speed chain, so this is from the mountain bike world, perfectly fine, no complaints here. And then when we look at the shifters front mech and the rear mech, you are getting a superb Shimano 105 Di2 electronic group set. So this is the latest uh, Shimano 105 Di2 electronic group set. 12 speed group set, which is a semi wireless group set where you have the front mech and the rear mech uh, communicating via cable, and then the shifters and the front mech are communicating wirelessly. Absolutely no complaints here from me, it's going to work perfectly fine. And anybody who has tested the newest Shimano 105 Di2 group set can confirm that it works perfectly, perfectly fine. Okay, now when we look at some of the smaller pieces like the handlebar and the stem, what do you get here? So the handlebar is a classical Cervelo aluminum handlebar and the stem is also Cervelo aluminum stem. I'm glad here that these pieces are separate pieces, so easy to adjust your position, nothing is proprietary, easy to replace in the future. The only little uh, kind of disappointing thing here is that I believe Cervelo should have offered a carbon fiber handlebars here, again, because we are looking at the total uh, package of uh, 5,000 uh, British pounds, but it is what it is. When it comes to the braking system on this bike, you are getting again a superb Shimano 105 hydraulic disc brakes front and the back. And what I can see here uh, from the from the images, because the, the spec sheet is not so detailed, the braking rotors are 160 millimeters both front and the back, which is excellent. But the braking rotors are a basic Shimano's kind of RT70 rotors. I am fine with those braking rotors now out of the box, but definitely in the future, if you want a bit more better heat dissipation, you should definitely upgrade to the Shimano Ultegra level braking rotors, or you can also use the braking rotors from the Shimano mountain bike world, for example, Shimano XT braking rotors, or even you know XTR, if you really want to splash the cash on the braking rotors. Okay, and also I will mention here when it comes to the seat post and the saddle, you will get a carbon fiber seat post from Cervelo, excellent stuff, soaking up some of the small road bumps and also nicely aerodynamically optimized the seat post. And the saddle, Sella Italia Model X, uh, personally I like Sella Italia saddles, they, they, are, they are great. Uh, if you don't like this saddle, it's very easy to replace in the future, so no, no big stress about it as it is now. So you see, in a summary, when I look at this uh, Cervelo Soloist road bike, so with the retail price of 5,000 British pounds, or as I'm saying, probably on the US market, we are speaking about 5,500 to 6,000 US dollars, what is my advice to you? Should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider this bike? 
Well, I believe that you should just consider this bike because in my opinion, it is a bit too pricey for what it offers. If the price was somewhere in the region of about, you know, four and a half thousand British pounds, so maybe like around five thousand US dollars, then definitely I could tell you, okay, go ahead, shortlist this bike, test ride it. The the one of the kind of big disappointments here is I really don't know why Cervelo used this uh, RS uh, five five ten uh, series crank set on the bike. It should have been a full Shimano one of five group set. And also I believe that if they are asking the five thousand British pounds price, they should have included uh, some kind of uh, carbon fiber wheel set. They also have their in-house brand of reserve carbon fiber wheels, and I kind of believe they should have been here on this bike. So in an interesting concept uh, from Cervelo, Cervelo Soloist, so kind of all in, do it all bike, aerodynamically optimized. And as I say, uh, from the person who has uh, who has this bike, I've heard that it is a very interesting, uh, comfortable bike with a bit of aerodynamically optimized pieces. So this is going to be it uh, for today. I hope you like what I'm doing, and if you do, keep on watching, keep on liking, and as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers.